Hey everyone, this is Kat, and today I'm going to do a video on how to repair your Sims 4 game, or any of your Origin games, I believe it will work the same. <laughs> what you do is you open up Origin, click on My Games, and this is especially helpful if you have, like, a problem, but you can see, you know, if I wanted to repair Sims 4. I'll right click on Sims 4, you have to right click on it with the mouse, and then scroll down to repair game, and click on that, and it starts repairing the game, it's verifying the game files. EA says whenever you experience a problem in Sims 4 or any of their games, if you have the repair game feature like Sims 3, you don't have that. Sims Medieval, you do. You know, uh, you got it for Sim City. You know, for any of these other games, if you can right click on them and get the option to repair the game, then do so. That should be the first step in creating in fixing your game before you contact EA or do anything else. And I've seen, I'm in a Sims 4 community group on Facebook, and I see a lot of people asking, how do you repair your Sims 4 game? So I thought maybe I would do a video that explains that, so hopefully, you know, people can be referred to my video, and this way they have a visual, this is how you do it, as well as the talking, because you obviously can't see me left or right click on anything, you know. So, then you wait. You wait after it says verifying game files. <clears throat> and this is also important. If you have the game up, shut it down. You don't want to do this while the game is up. Because it's not going to do any good and you'll have to close out the game all over. That means you don't even want to have them open. You can see I don't have Sims 4 open at all. And you can see down in the lower left corner, it says one of four verifying game files for The Sims 4. Depending on your computer, it could take a while. Depending on, you know, what problem you might have, it could take a while. And this usually does not affect any saved game that you currently have. So you don't have to worry about backing up your saved games or anything. And now it's installing. It's just installing whatever fix, so. And you can actually go to. You can actually see all my saved games are here still. If it ruined any of my saved games, they actually would not be here. All my mods are still there. All my screenshots are still there. So you can see, all it's really doing is it's just trying to repair your game and fix whatever glitch you have. <coughs> And sometimes it takes a while, sometimes it doesn't take that long. It all depends on what's going on with the game or if you've done it before. And you 
you can see it told me that Sims 4 is ready to play, but now it wants to ver it's going to verify the files of the other stuff that I have. But you'll have the general gist that's how you know if you click on it then it opens up and it tells you what it's doing as well. Like it's also going to verify the game files of celebration pack and get to work. And it tells you what's completed and everything. So, y'all get the general gist on how to repair your game for The Sims 4. Or, like I said, it works the same. If you can right-click on something and get the repair game feature, then it'll work that way for you, too. If not, if you right-click something and you do not have the repair game feature, then... It might be time for a phone call to EA, depending on the problem, and if you can't fix it yourself. And you can actually just arrange for EA to call you, which is great, and I've never had to wait any more than five minutes for them to call me back. They're pretty quick. So, I hope you liked my video. I hope this video was a huge help to you. Please feel free to hit that thumbs up on the video, subscribe to my channel and share my video and as usual I hope you have a great day and look for my next video on how to make sims run faster based on tips I was given from EA when I had a uh, latency issue so I look forward to making my next video for you and hope y'all look forward to watching it